Duck lamb at work. I got something crazy cool to make a video about. I've been out of the circuit for a while because, well, I've been working and I've been busy. Things have been happening. I'm going to explain that later. This is the original Chris Craft plant. Chris Craft is a boat. This plant's about 100 years old. This is one of the buildings. There was originally five or six buildings. They built the Chris Craft boats here. Later on, they built a few Sea Ray boats. And they also built the uh, landing crafts for the war, which they, where they made a ton of money. But this is the original factory where the boats came down the line. And they put them together. And they built this boat here. This is what I'm going to show. This is my boss's. The original Miss America. This boat set the world record. Not exactly the same hull. Because the original boat that set the world record back in like 1930 something disintegrated out front here on the river. And they rebuilt this boat to make another race, which I believe this also did set another record. Look at this. This is about 40 feet. Miss America, 10. I'm going to go around here because this is really super cool. I'll take a quick walk around the boat. This is just amazing. It's 1930 something, built by Garfield Wood and Chris Kraft. The motors are V12 Packards, the same motors they put in the airplanes. World War II. And yeah, unbelievable. Just unbelievable. I can't, this is hard to see because I gotta walk in between the hoist thing here. This is the back of the boat. Definitely amazing. I'm going to show you something. This is really, this is really cool. This is the, right up here. This is the control panel for the boat. We have, uh, of course, the RPMs, tachometers. The four, this, these two here and those two over here, that's for engine pressure, like an airplane. And then we have, uh, of course, we have four motors, so we have gauge for every motor for temperature the trans temperature, well, the train, it says train, I don't know what that means. They didn't have a transmission in this boat. How are you doing? Very good, how are you? Good. Can't see this baby in here. This, this thing is so cool, man. And with all this technology, this is the, this is where the uh, navigator set, and he also, this is, that's the gas right there for the uh, throttle. And he would also do something else. God only knows. There's no brakes, so he's not doing that. And this is where the guy steers from. And of course, this is that steering wheel here. And this is all the hydraulic stuff and mechanisms they needed to steer. The uh, rudder is actually in the front. Let me show you this. This is really super ass cool. Now, on these boats, this boat did 140 miles an hour back in 1930 something. And that was just amazing considering you figure. Airplanes weren't going that fast back in the 30s. And this is underneath the boat. Where's my rudder? My rudder is in front. Look at this. It's in front of the boat. There's the rudder. That's how they steered this thing. And I guess what they, they mostly could only go in a straight line until they got out there. And uh, it didn't have a transmission, so no reverse. So you had to push it out and just go. Really crazy. Now this is, this design here, is they had a step design. You had a thicker hull here and then when it got back to the, about the midsection we had this step this the, the Chris Kraft was the first one to do this him and Garfield Wood the step here then you had another bigger step here this is underneath the boat here what happens is you got all the water running through here and then this, this was open and you had the propellers just kicking ass and this thing was just going like a bat out of hell now I'm gonna show you the motors if I can get up here the ladder these things wait let me get back here a little bit okay oh gee this is this just kicks ass man okay let me get up a little higher these are ah this is something else these are four v12 engines packards made in detroit with the packard plant down Highland Park and later moved to the proving grounds out in Shelby Township or Utica, Michigan. Look at this, this is hydraulic stuff, gas. The gas tanks are up in there somewhere. The diesel tanks, whatever they used back in those days. Look at these things. It's just effing amazing, man. For these guys, what they did is they hooked two motors together. He was the first one to do that. 
with a single drive shaft on each side. 12,000 uh, 12, horsepower this thing kicked out per side. Now if you look, all the technology they had back in these days, which this was high technology, and the seats, that, that's the driver's seat, and that's the navigator's seat, and they're like just chairs that came out of the bar or out of a restaurant. Nothing else, just out of a restaurant, little frame, they stuck it in and screwed it in or nailed it in. And that's what this driver set in, and the driver had, this is what you had in front of you when you're going 100, over 100 miles an hour, this, this. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to show you the front of the boat. It's about a 47 foot boat here. This is just amazing. America, this America, the original. The one that set the first world's records. Alright, I'm going to make some more videos later about some other stuff. You know, there was other stuff going on in my life. This is beautiful. Just, just amazing technology. Alright, old Chris Craft plant. This is where all the magic happened. This is where they were rolling bolts out of here. Employed at the peak, 1,300, 13,000 workers at this place, at the peak, this little town. Alright, a little bit of history. Right, look at this, this is so cool. If you want any more pictures, just let me know. I get tons of pictures, and if you want any specifications or any information, just put it in the uh, comment box, and I'll get back to you about it. Very beautiful. Uh, and it's just amazing. And no, it doesn't run. It hasn't ran since 1940-something. We just retired it, and uh, we use it for displays. We have a little museum display out here. Just amazing. Look up Garwood, Garfield Wood. Interesting history. All right, back out.